Okay, everybody, so in this pot, I have ground beef and uncased Italian sausage. I like the mild. If you want it spicy, then go ahead and get the spicy one. Then to this, I'm gonna um, season it with salt to taste. I use pink Himalayan salt, my favorite. And I'm gonna cook it over medium heat. Um, I like to let it brown a little before stirring. Now as you can see here, you have to allow your mother-in-law to get involved because she can't sit on the sideline. <laughs> she had to get in here and stir it and I wasn't ready to, but that's okay. That's what mom-in-laws do, right? So let it brown. As you can see, it's starting to get brown and that's what you want. All the juices are going to start coming out. And you'll see that a little later. So go ahead and stir it. Now to that, I'm gonna add sofrito. If you haven't checked out my sofrito video, be sure to do so. It is the base of um, the Latin cuisine. And me as a Puerto Rican, I use it a lot. So you put that in there. And by the way, all of the measurements as well as a PDF copy for you are available for all my recipes at www.ketoelie.us. Here we have the black pepper and the oregano. To do that and then give it a good stir, just to make sure you know you're trying to get the flavors even as possible. You want every bite to be scrumptious. Now I added a little more salt because as I turn the meat, I, I just add a little more. That's how I do it. You can definitely measure it, but it is to taste. All right. As you can see, the juices here. You see them? The meat is getting more brown. You see that? So what I do instead of draining it, I let it cook off in there. So you can reduce the heat depending on you know how high the heat is on your stove. Or you can allow it to stay on medium heat. I reduce it a little bit at this point. And remember you can add any spices you'd like. Alright, as you can see, the juices have begun to boil off. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add spaghetti sauce. Now everyone's always asking what spaghetti sauce do you use? What I do is I go to my local supermarket and I find the one that's lowest in carbs. Typically it's Classico which is the Florentine one um, or the Rayo or organic ones. They tend to be the lowest in carbs. If you make it yourself then hey go for it. And here is a can of crushed tomatoes organic as well. And this is just a quick way uh, to make the meat sauce, to make it seem more authentic instead of being there and over a pot and cooking all day. It's just a quick, easy way to do it and it tastes amazing. Give it a good stir. La 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 la. Looks good, doesn't it? It smells amazing. Now you can let it simmer for 15 minutes or longer. Completely up to you. But at this point, it's good to go. Come on, focus. There we go. Come on. It's not focusing, sorry. And look at that very thick sauce. If you like it more saucy, go ahead and add more, more sauce. Or reduce the amount of meat you have. But um, that's how we like it. Now here, I'm going to show you how to do the, um, how to cook the noodles. They're zoodles, zucchini noodles, if you didn't know. Now what I'm doing is basically sauteing it. And as you can see, I use the, um, the coconut oil spray. And I add a little bit of salt and pepper, not too much. 
most of my flavor is gonna be from the meat sauce. So I cook it three to five minutes, basically until it's tender. You don't want it mushy. So that's why I keep turning it, just to get a feel for how tender it is. And once that's completed, then guess what? We get to plate it, we get to eat it. Ooh! Can't wait. It actually tastes really good. Look at that. Nice, it's ready. There you go. And then we add our sauce. And of course, I always love to top it off with some grated Parmesan cheese. And it's so delicious. Everyone loves it. Of course, the kids, you know, they're kind of finicky, so they eat regular noodles, but this is amazing. Look at that. Yum! Voila! Dinner is served. Remember to share and visit our website.